Hall, Dylan Colbert, Derek Jones. Please morning. Pledge of Allegiance. <laughs> saying aye. 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 Opposed? Opposed. Motion carried. Vice President. Nominations for Vice President. Like to nominate Randy Steen. Any other nominations for Vice President? Suzanne. Is there any other nominations for Vice President? Is there any other nominations for Vice President? Third time, is there any other nominations for Vice President? If not, vote for Randy Sneed. I'm in favor. Aye. Aye. Two, Randy. Aye. Three. All in favor, Suzanne? Aye. Aye. Two. Randy, Vice President. All right, we'll move on to citizens' input. Hello, Pam. Huh? Oh, gosh, I do it every time. I really listen to them to learn the minutes. <laughs> minutes of 12 19 2017. Any additions, corrections, questions? Now I'll entertain a motion to accept the minutes. I move to accept the minutes of December 19th, 2018. There's a motion and a sec. There's a motion a second. and a second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Now we'll try citizens' input. You just come because you're bored? Is that why you yeah. come down? Yeah, I need the break. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> You keeping those Joy Johns in order up town, Maria? The part there. I try. Is it still there? Winter's not too bad, but summer's been. Up town, parked by her. Yeah, is it still there? They're supposed to come pick it up. Oh, uh, I think they did. Or they were supposed to, or are they still there? He said he wasn't going to bother picking it up. He was just going to leave it. Oh. That's what he told me. Snowball practice. I guess. Old business attorney report. We got one thing this evening, that is the, uh, the farm lease, the actual contract. I just sent this to uh, Bill Boris, so I don't have it signed back from him yet either, but this is the contract that we would need to sign and set up for the signature of the President of the Council. Same as last year, except obviously the, the rate was different at 179 For 171 I think for 29 cents. So our per acre rental fee has gone down. We only have one bed though. And obviously the same same uh, tenant farmer that's been uh, doing this for I think four or five years now. There you go. All right, that's all I have. Oh jeez. Any 
questions for Derek? Anything? I was going to find yourself under other old business, but where are we at on the UTD witness? It's in, it's in my court, and Dustin's got this to me, okay, <laughs> and I tweaked it. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> tweaked it? <laughs> um, I've got 30, 40% of it going through in terms of what he had sent to me. Mm -hmm. um, I don't have it finished, but I will have it for you to review. Well, let's put it this way. I'm going to get it to Dustin. I told him I have time marked out next Friday for him to take a look at, so I'm going to kick the ball back to his court. He may not like everything I've done exactly the way I've done it, but the goal is to have it to you folks to at least look at at the next meeting uh, in January. Accept the attorney report. I move to accept the attorney report. Second. Motion is second. All in favor, say aye. 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 Board openings. Start a planning commission of BZA. So don't everybody jump up at once. Pam, your board, come on, let's go. No, not that board. Another old business. We're going to need to get with Sarah. EMS. I don't know if you've talked to her at all, honey, Randy, yet. But it's coming here or not. Got it. I talked to her today. We're going to get together tomorrow night and have a meeting. Uh, uh, well, I'm not sure exactly what we're going to do. We're going to, but yeah, we're going to talk to her tomorrow night. Okay. So, and then after that, we can set up a meeting with all of us. Right. Go. Yep. Yep. Okay. Go over everything. Anybody else got any other old business at this time? Uh, Lisa, you were going to get in touch with the townships concerning the. I sent proposal. out an email and got no responses. None. <laughs> Zero. And I sent it out to the like... We tried. Oh, I'm not done. Okay. I, I'll keep trying. <laughs> <laughs> No. <coughs> New business, 2018 meeting schedule. Is everybody still okay with the first and third Wednesdays at 7.30? Yes. Got a motion? Make a motion to keep the 2018 meeting schedule as the first and third Wednesday of every month. 7.30? 7.30. Is there a second? Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Meetings will stand the first and third Wednesday at 7.30 p.m. here in the town hall building. Appointment of utility clerk. Just for Sean here. Everybody else knows that we need to appoint Lisa each year. Kind of a formality. Derek, want to go into that a little bit, just so that people can hear? Oh, I can. In fact, I actually pulled these resolutions because I saw that on there. But um, I guess I'll address it to Sean as much as anybody. But Sean, you got to go back to 1995 when the position of utility clerk was created with the resolution. It was 95-5, and I got a copy of it here if you ever want to take a look at that. Um, and it basically indicates that the same person who is the clerk treasurer will be uh, responsible for the clerical services for the utilities. In other words, will be the utility uh, clerk as well. Um, it also indicates in that resolution that in the organizational meeting in January of each year that we're to appoint a person to perform the necessary clerical services, i.e. clerk treasurer, um, and it's going to be referred to as the utility clerk. Um, Another resolution was then passed in 98, it's resolution 98-4, which sets forth the hours of the utility clerk. Not the clerk treasurer, but the utility clerk. Defines that as Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday for uh, eight hours a day. So those are the two resolutions that come into play. Argus does things a little differently than most other towns throughout the state, but because of that first resolution, there still needs to be that appointment. 
as to who's going to be the clerk, uh, utility clerk, I should say, even though the resolution also indicates it's presently the uh, clerk treasurer. That's typically how it's always been. Thank you, Derek. So with that. I move to appoint Lisa Mullaney as utility clerk for the year 2019. Second. Motion is second to appoint Lisa Mullaney as the utility clerk for 2019. Any other discussion? If not, all in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Anytime. <laughs> Uh, department liaison appointments. Don't we oh. need to reappoint Derek? Yeah. Oh. <coughs> if he's willing to. I'm willing to. I, you know what? And actually, I didn't even pull the contract. I know the contract says that I just continue on unless until you guys decide to give me the boot. Um, this is the 10th year, though, that I've been doing it, and I do enjoy doing it. I like doing this uh, work for the town. Um, and I'm glad to continue to serve for another year. So that's what the 10 percent discount since you've been here 10 years. I'm not asking reason. <laughs> don't push it. <laughs> okay, I guess you would like to appoint Suzanne then. I move to appoint Derek as our town attorney, year 2019. Second. There's the motion a second to reappoint Derek Jones as our town attorney for 2019. Any other discussion? Guess not. <laughs> All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you. Thank you. Department liaison appointments. I would like to volunteer to be fire department this year. I would like to remain on the police. I'd like to remain with EMS. I'll remain with redevelopment. You got a problem with that, Mark? I don't. No, I don't. She wants to see how it's handled, that's perfectly fine. And so that means I get parks and utilities, or do you own either one of those two, or just fire? I'll take utilities. Okay. I enjoy meeting with Jamie. Okay. If that works with you. That's all. It's fine. I'll fall into park then this year. That uh, we'll go into other new business. Chuck, you got anything tonight? Uh, going to be having a meeting. <clears throat> um, the town will be someone from the town will be invited. We're looking at. Um, multiple parcels um, that are used as one unit. We have when towns were platted and sometimes around lakes and country and things like that, we have small lots, but one person owns them and over years they built over the property line and this and that. So uh, it's become a big problem statewide. The state has put an ordinance in where they uh, have uh, directed the assessor's office to combine those three or four lots as one taxed unit so that they don't have as many tax units. Well, <clears throat> that helps the assessor, doesn't even help the assessor's office because they look at the whole thing anyway. But the state's trying to figure out how do we begin to eliminate all of these extra parcels. Um, so we've had some ideas and we're trying to incorporate everybody. I think you should get an email tomorrow um, to Lisa so you can think about who you want to have there at the uh, meeting. But we're looking at whenever someone comes in to make an improvement on their property, i.e. a building permit, and they have multiple parcels used as one, that they would be then directed to get a new um, legal description for that and file that. So now instead of four parcels, they would have one parcel. Um, it's been a problem for the whole state for quite a while. 
uh, in Orange County it's been maybe worse than some of the others because we have so many lakes and small municipalities and uh, the can is just being kicked down the road continually. So we're looking at wording to put into an ordinance countywide that would be accepted by the municipalities that you know when it comes for an improvement or something to be done on that property that they would have to then get a new legal description and record that. Now that will involve a cost. There's no question about that. Um, you know whether to a surveyor, um, an attorney, try and make more work for attorneys. Mm -hmm. um, but you know we just we're trying to get this cleaned up so that whatever we work on today, ten years from now we don't have to worry about it. that one's straightened up. Do you, I'm sorry, I don't mean to interrupt, but do do we have to involve an attorney or um, a surveyor because? I got a call from Jenny asking me if I would combine the two lots for the BNR building, and we did that one, and we also did another. That's um, for tax purposes only. Oh, that's okay. For, that's for the payment only. Okay. Well, well she I, called me and asked me if I'd be willing to. And you see, that's what the state. Together. That's what the state wants to do. Okay. They they're pushing all the the assessor to have this done in a four year period, but that only takes care of that cleans their side up, but the problem still remains that we have multiple parcels that go through buildings like, you know, BNR and places like that that we want to get straightened up and cleaned up. So. Who do you meet, Chuck, during this meeting? Who do you meet? Who, who will be at the meeting? Yeah. Um, we will have um, Marshall County Plan Director, myself. Um, we will have uh, someone from the uh, treasurer's office, uh, clerk's office, assessor's office, as well as representatives from each of the municipalities. And, uh, Is it the auditor or the assessor that has a designation of parcels? Do you know? It's the auditor. And why couldn't it not be a simple function of just if you've got three parcels that are contiguous, you give them a legal for each one and just have an and, and. You're done. Now you got one parcel. That's a legal question. That's why we have. <laughs> well, and I've run across this right. because I do. I have to do a sewer easement every once in a while. Somebody will come in and say that my house is here. We have a separate parcel, and that's where our septic's located. We need a sewer easement. Right. Um, and I can sense the frustration, and it is kind of silly. Um, I never understood why it had to be so complicated to simply combine parcels if you, you own two and separate parcels or eight that are all contiguous, just tag legal after legal, and that's an auditor function, not really a, a legal function. Well, and that's a good point to bring up. It's one that we haven't discussed yet. That's why we're having the meeting to try to... And I understand maybe I'm preaching to the choir, but it is a good idea to try to combine parcels well, because that are like that. It just, we have so many homes, buildings, whatever, built across the property lines, you know, and you say, you know, George says, well, that's been in my family forever, and I'm going to live here. Well, you can't live forever. Well, you might be able to, but so far we have a <laughs> um, But, you know, when that happens, now what do we do? We've sold properties at tax sales that have been purchased at the tax sale half of a building, you know, that's a legal nightmare, yeah. you know, and, we, and that's happened multiple times uh, in, in, in the county and throughout the state. Yeah, there's a lot of those little 60 by 120 lots of artists. <laughs> Chuck, you said, I understood right, that if, when they come in to make improvements, that's when they'll have to do this. I know down here on Center Street where the old uh, van conversion building is, there's south of it it's growing up it's like a woods now but that's like eight lots there right. and i know the person owns all eight of them so i don't think they'll ever do anything to that building they just bought it for storage so that they'll never have to make that one well see, that's what we're talking about okay. and, I, and i didn't want to bring up huh. the other side of it too is if it went 
a step further or steps further that we could have that as part of point of sale whenever there's an exchange of property exchange and ownership then that would be needed to be done at that time that would be that would be the ultimate so for right now if they wanted to sell three lots off at the end of that or something then they could sell them but the rest of it all have to be combined maybe yeah I mean, we're just we're trying to if you could go on GIS and just yeah. look at it. I that's how I know it's not a lot there. You know, it's 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 a nightmare. Okay. So we're looking at doing that and we will the town of course is included because you know we would like to have it from one side of the county to the other. Right now, anybody that's been coming in to get building permits. Um, within the town of Argus or Culver, we're making them combine them before we get a building permit that goes across the property line. So there's nothing that says that we can't do that, or it shouldn't be that way. Nothing says that we should allow a building to go across the property line. That code says it can. So anybody that's been coming in, we've been having them get it cleaned up before we get them built. Chuck, do you see that process having to go through a lawyer, or would that be a process that a resident could just go to the county building to the assessor? Well, <clears throat> what Derek just said is, is something that, if we did it the way that he talks about, that he suggested, it could go just through the auditor, and you could be as simple as going in and saying, you know, I want to take my three parcels and combine them, and with that legal description like Derek's talking about. You know, lot one and lot two and lot three with the configurations of it, um, and then we could give it a new number. I'd almost venture to say if it was a process like that, there'd probably be a lot of people who, aside of going to get a permit or something, would go in and do it. Right. Just for the hassle of two separate statements coming for taxes and everything else. Right. I know I had to go through that when I bought my place up there. <clears throat> and you get, for every parcel, you're getting a ditch assessment. Um, you know, you, there's other things that go with it that we don't even know at this time. So just to let you know that it's coming up and I think we've got, you should get an email tomorrow, maybe be scheduled the week after next. Okay. Anything else, anybody got any other new business? I don't have new business, but I do have something that I need to run by you guys. Um, Jim is going to kill me here. Um, Randy, you asked me a while ago to check and see about pesticides for, or pest control for around here. So the guy from Arrow has been coming in religiously and um, he came down to $90. We pay $111 right now. And he came down to ninety dollars for all three buildings. You know, I it's one hundred and twelve dollars for him to set up all the initial traps and stuff, but it is ninety dollars a month. So I wanted to let you know that I did look into it. Um, you'd asked me that a while back, yeah. and it's not gotten that much cheaper. So. Who do we have now? Husband. Husband. Husband, yeah. Do we have a big need for this is it, is it really necessary? Um, well, I mean, bugs or mines right now, so we don't know what's going on. I did ask an ant problem because it was so wet yeah. in that fire station for years in the walls. I did ask them, we have an ant problem in the RTC room too. Um, oh, they keep spraying that down um, and feeding it because there's cracks in the concrete that they keep coming up through. But um, it's not huge, it's not a huge ant problem. I did ask them about maybe going to every other month, but they said that they would not guarantee anything if we did that. So. I just kind of wanted to throw it out there that I did look into it, so I don't know what your thoughts are, but. What do you need an answer for? Is there a deadline I mean, for an answer? 
I don't need an answer. I just, I guess I was just throwing some information out. Yeah. You can either change and go with them, or you can stay with husbands. That's what she's getting at. Right. right I mean. You paying husband how much a month? 111 for all. Three. Versus 90? husband has been since I've been here in 2016 they have kept their prices pretty much the same at 111 so I don't know what will happen if I switch you know but right now he's coming in pretty you know lower I wouldn't say it's incredibly low but who's more local they both are. They both are. I, I, I just I don't know where it yeah. comes out of. I yeah, they're out of one too. Yeah. yeah. I will say that we had Arrow over work and we booted them because we were having any problems. Oh, okay. Just our problem that we had at work. So. I'm not. Well, the husband's situation. been doing. I mean, I've not heard nobody complaining about a bunch of uh, problems. So, if they've been keeping everything under control. I suppose at that difference, I mean, if he was like 75 or 80 or something, maybe, but at that difference, uh, I just mainly wanted to let you know that I did check into it a year later, but, <laughs> you know, I did. Okay. You know, anybody else got any business? Jamie, you got anything since you're in here? You no. Know, slid in for last minute? <laughs> <laughs> All right, we'll move on to claims. I do have one question about the first item. I mean, how many more games do we have on Street Street? I did not bring that. Okay. Um, okay. I, I'll email you that. Yeah, sure. I should I should have looked that up. I didn't even think about it. I, mean, I apologize. What did we do that for? This is our third I year. I think seven it years. We did started it for. in 2013. I do know that because I saw it on the bill itself. It's right there. Yeah. It's claim number one. Yeah. It's that payment seven times over. Yeah. No. Well, that's seven. Once a year. Yeah. Right. Once a year. Oh, sorry. Was... You got to go through the end of December 1st. Interesting. So while you look that up, I'll read these off. The total docket for uh, January 2nd is $365,961.42. The top five claims are as follows. Number one is IMPA at 147000 Two dollars and fifty-nine cents. Number two is payment in lieu of taxes was fifty-nine thousand seven hundred and two dollars. Now this year it was electric and water only because that ordinance didn't go into effect until January first. So um, next year it'll be split half and half with water and sewer based on that ordinance. Number three is payroll number 26 at $35,085.79. Number four is Anthem at $20,808.54. And claim number five is First Source Bank for the Street Sweeper payment for $16,668.59. The top five claims total $279,267.51 and represents 76% of the total docket. Did you find it? Yeah, 2013, so one should be one more year. It's seven years. Mm -hmm. So we were talking about that, Joy John, up in the park. Is there is there three of them, or is there just one? There were three different months that they billed for, but I never received any of those invoices, which, so when it came in, it came in as a statement, all three of them at once. I don't know who's getting the bills, but it wasn't me, so. That's why there's, okay, I can figure out why you write off three checks, I'm thinking. I've only seen one there. Well, three different payments, right. because they were three different invoices, yeah. you know what I mean? So, but one check. <laughs> okay. yeah. It's the park. 
<laughs> That's gonna sound like a stupid question. That's what the one up town and the one out at Pond Park. Yeah, and I, I didn't know. It's a it's a chemical company. We order a lot of supplies from the water and sewer. Oh, for it. okay. <laughs> but I did not, not see. Well, it just looked weird. <laughs> this was a Porta John company or something. They put them in both parks. Oh, okay. So Ed brought me in the statement that had the list of the um, things I was behind on. And so I just paid them out because I never saw the invoices. I have a question on Ninja Alert. How many people have signed up for it? I do not know that total. I can get you that total. Um, I, we have had quite a few sign up, but... Is it under 100? You know, the problem is, is that when people change their phone numbers or right. something, you know, they're still not getting it. They're not, they're not remembering to... But I can I can definitely look that up, and I, I will email you that number. I just don't have it off the top of my head. Sorry. It's a nice service. I'm just not sure we're utilizing it fully. Yeah, I I'm, I'm not sure if the 1600 is worth it because we're not using it enough. It's worth it when he calls a boil order, or you know, and I mean I realize we don't have them that often, but. It, it really does help. Um, I know that when I sent that one reach alert out that the BZA meeting was canceled and moved and then I sent the one the second one out and forgot to put it to just the BZA and the whole town got it. Everybody's like what was changed at six o'clock? So I did get quite a few phone calls on what was changed to six. So um, and it's a good way to put out if, if there is an emergency. But is it worth 1600 That's what I'm questioning. Yeah, I don't know. I know that there's a lot of towns that are going to these systems. I know. I mean, I was for it. Yeah. It sounds like a good service. I'm just not sure if enough people have signed up and if we're utilizing it fully. Mm -hmm. I thought initially we'd be reminded of meetings you know when different meetings are occurring because I would appreciate that and I did give all of you access to it so anytime I'm not going to play with it yeah mm -hmm. I'm not, you know but okay. I don't know. so now we can post on it so what you're saying was yeah. good okay. all the council members have always been on it I'm, I'm sure I don't have Sean on there yet but I already know anything about it you, do you don't now. know anything about reaching You didn't get the big yellow pamphlet in the mail? Of course, when I sent them out, we did get a lot of people that thought it was a scam, and so they just crossed it. At least I don't need to see the mail. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> well, I, I will do a Facebook post again. I'll do what I can to up that membership, you know, remind people that if you've changed your phone number or your email address to go back in there. All right, so was there a motion and a second to accept the claims? Make a motion to accept claims 13 or 1537 through 1624 and 1 through 65. Second. Any other discussion? If not all in favor, signify by saying aye. I have different aye. numbers there. Yes. 46. Six. Those aren't the numbers you all. No. I'm dreaming about the year. Yeah. You got Claim numbers 16, 14 through 11624 and 1 through 46. You got an yes. extra one in there. Oh, okay, it's supposed to be the 16, 16, 14 through 1624. Yes. Right. And, and then claim number 1 through 46. Yes.
second. All in favor signify by saying aye. 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 Opposed? Motion carried. I would like for our news people to stand up and introduce themselves, both of them, for 2019 because you got to do it. That's all there is to it. Both of you, come on now. Yeah, you got to do it. Introduce yourself so we know who you are. I'm still James Stoner in the pilot news. You're still the same person? I am. Okay. <laughs> I'm Courtney Dojikowski, also from the pilot news, and heading the Heartland News, which will be covering Bourbon and Argus. I thank you for being here. Yes, yeah, thank you. Make a motion to adjourn. Motion, is there a second? Second. Motion is second to adjourn. All in favor? Aye. Opposed? Motion carried. Thank you everyone.